Switch on default SOTF is an important protection feature in modern intelligent electronic devices IEDs such as the REL670 line distance protection relay. It is particularly relevant when a circuit breaker CB is manually or automatically closed onto a line that is already faulted. The purpose of the SOTF function is to provide very fast fault detection and tripping to minimize equipment damage and ensure safety. Here's an in-depth explanation of the switch on default SOTF feature. Concept of switch on default SOTF in power systems, a situation can arise where a circuit breaker closes onto a faulted transmission or distribution line. The fault might have occurred when the line was de-energized or during maintenance activities. Normally, a relay doesn't detect the fault when the breaker is open since no current is flowing through the line. When the breaker closes and the fault persists, there could be a sudden inrush of fault current. Without fast protection, this current could damage the equipment. SOTF is designed to quickly recognize such conditions and initiate rapid protection actions. Importance of SOTF in line protection, when a circuit breaker closes onto a faulted line, the fault current can cause severe stress on power system equipment, including transformers, transmission lines, and circuit breakers. The objective of SOTF is to minimize the duration of fault current, fast detection and isolation reduce the fault energy dissipated in the system. Provide instantaneous tripping, typically, overcurrent and distance protection elements have some inherent delay to ensure stability during normal operating conditions. SOTF, however, bypasses these delays to act immediately. Prevent equipment damage, protecting breakers, transformers, and the line itself from damage caused by prolonged fault current exposure. Principles of SOTF operation, the SOTF function typically activates under these conditions, breaker closing onto a fault, when the breaker closes onto a fault, there will be a sudden increase in fault current. Detection of low pre-fault voltage. Before the breaker closes, the voltage across the line is usually low zero or near zero if there is a fault. The relay monitors the line voltage and senses that there is no healthy voltage present before closing the breaker. High fault current on closing. As soon as the breaker closes, if the current rises sharply indicative of a fault, the SOTF function is triggered. Activation mechanism in the REL670, the REL670 line distance protection IED intelligent electronic device is designed with advanced features for fault detection, including SOTF. The typical sequence for SOTF operation is, monitoring the line voltage, the relay continuously monitors the line voltage. Before the breaker is closed, the voltage is near zero if the line is de-energized. If there is a fault, this voltage remains very low. Breaker closure detection, the relay detects when the circuit breaker is about to be closed using breaker status contacts or auxiliary contacts. At this point, the relay prepares for potential fault detection. Fault current detection, once the breaker closes, the relay looks for a sudden spike in current. If the current exceeds a preset threshold which is much higher than normal load current, it assumes that the breaker has closed onto a fault. Instantaneous tripping, the SOTF function bypasses normal protection settings like time delays or zone coordination. It sends an immediate trip signal to isolate the faulted line. Protection elements associated with SOTF, the SOTF function can involve multiple protection elements, including distance protection elements, normally, distance relays divide the line into protection zones. However, during an SOTF condition, the relay doesn't rely on the conventional zone-based tripping mechanism. It may use zone 1 immediate tripping or even an overcurrent element. Overcurrent protection, the SOTF function may utilize, utilize the overcurrent relay elements instantaneous or definite time to trigger faster tripping. Voltage supervision, a sudden drop in voltage or low voltage before closing is another indication of faulted conditions, helping to differentiate between faulted and healthy conditions. To delve deeper into the switch onto fault SOTF function and its relevance to distance protection, let's break down more intricate technical aspects, focusing on operational challenges, relay configuration, and coordination with other protection schemes. Detailed operation of SOTF in power systems, when a fault exists on a transmission line, but the breaker is open, the relay's normal distance protection using impedance measurement may not be able to detect this fault until current flows through the line. The SOTF feature becomes essential when the circuit breaker closes onto a faulted line. Upon closing the breaker, pre-fault condition, when the breaker is open, there's typically little to no voltage across the open breaker terminals, as the fault effectively shorts the line. 
This low voltage condition is detected by the relay. Post fault detection, once the breaker closes and the circuit becomes energized, fault current flows immediately. The SOTF logic uses a high speed current detection element that measures the fault current magnitude instantly upon breaker closure. The relay does not wait for zone based protection calculations which may take a few cycles, instead, it sends an immediate trip signal to the breaker if fault conditions are detected. Distance protection versus SOTF, in traditional distance protection schemes, impedance zones, the relay measures the impedance of the transmission line between itself and the fault. Different zones of protection zone 1, zone 2, zone 3 correspond to various portions of the line. For instance, zone 1 is typically instantaneous and protects a certain percentage of the line typically 80 to 90 percent, zone 2 protects the remainder of the line with some time delay. Delay mechanism, zone 2 and zone 3 typically have a time delay to ensure selectivity so the nearest breaker operates first, and distant breakers only operate if the fault persists. However, with SOTF, the delay mechanisms are bypassed to provide instantaneous tripping. This ensures that the fault is cleared without waiting for the impedance zones to determine the fault location. Relay settings and thresholds, the effectiveness of SOTF protection relies on carefully calibrated settings in the IED. Some of the key parameters include, voltage supervision under voltage detection, the relay continuously monitors the line's voltage before the breaker closes. If the line voltage is significantly lower than the set threshold typically close to zero, this indicates that the line is de-energized or faulted. A low voltage condition could mean that a fault is present and no power is flowing because the breaker is open. Current supervision over current detection after the breaker closes, the relay instantly measures the fault current. The threshold for this current should be set high enough to distinguish between normal inrush currents due to charging the line and fault current. In a typical system, this fault current can be several times the normal load current often in the range of three to five times the rated current, but it depends on the system configuration. Coordination with inrush detection, detection, in systems with transformers or large motors, high inrush currents can occur during breaker closing even when no fault is present. The SOTF logic must be designed to avoid false tripping due to inrush current, which decays quickly, unlike fault current. Relay settings and logic, in the REL670, settings for the SOTF function are carefully configured to ensure proper operation, voltage thresholds, the relay uses voltage supervision under voltage settings to identify if the line is energized or de-energized before closing. If the voltage is below the set threshold, SOTF logic is enabled. Current thresholds, the current detection element is configured to recognize fault current immediately after breaker closure. Typically, this current threshold is set higher than normal load current but lower than severe fault current to ensure, to ensure fast response. Time delays, normally, there is no intentional delay for SOTF operation to ensure instantaneous tripping. However, depending on the application, a small time delay might be added to coordinate with other protection schemes. How SOTF differs from regular fault detection, the regular fault detection process and distance protection relies on zone-based measurement, where the relay measures the impedance of the line and detects if the fault is within a certain distance from the relay. It also uses time delays to ensure selective tripping of the proper circuit breakers. Bypasses zone-based protection, the normal distance relay zone zone 1, zone 2, etc. may not have time to operate during an SOTF event because the fault must be cleared very quickly. Operates on different logic, SOTF uses a combination of breaker status, low voltage pre-closing, and high current post-closing to detect a fault, rather than relying on impedance measurement. Operational example of SOTF, suppose a transmission line is under maintenance, and the circuit breaker is open. A fault occurs on the line e.g., a fallen tree causing a short circuit. When maintenance is finished, and the operator attempts to close the breaker, the SOTF logic recognizes that the line is st still faulted. Upon breaker closure, the relay detects high fault current and low voltage immediately and sends a trip command within milliseconds to reopen the breaker, thereby protecting the system from damage. Coordination with other protection schemes, the SOTF function works in coordination with other protection elements such as, overcurrent protection, provides backup to the SOTF function. Breaker failure protection, if the breaker fails to open after SOTF has tripped, the breaker failure protection will trip upstream breakers. Auto reclusing, in some configurations, SOTF is coordinated with auto reclusing schemes to reclose the breaker after a fault is cleared.
Challenges in SOTF application, settings coordination, proper configuration is critical. Critical. If the voltage or current thresholds are set too high or too low, it may either fail to detect an SOTF event or falsely trip during normal breaker operations. Voltage swings, in systems where voltage fluctuates significantly, SOTF must be coordinated carefully to avoid maloperation during normal breaker operations. Coordination with other protection schemes, in a typical power system, the SOTF function operates in coordination with other protection elements to ensure system reliability and selectivity. Breaker failure protection, if the breaker fails to open after the relay issues a trip command e.g., due to mechanical issues or malfunction, breaker failure protection will detect the issue and initiate tripping of upstream breakers to clear the fault. This acts as a backup to ensure fault isolation. Reclusing schemes, in some systems, auto-reclusing is employed after a fault is cleared, particularly for transient faults e.g., lightning strikes. In such cases, SOTF must be carefully coordinated with the auto-reclusing function to avoid reclusing onto a fault again, especially if the fault is not transient and still persists after reclusing. Overcurrent backup, while distance protection schemes primarily rely on impedance measurements, overcurrent protection acts as a backup. The SOTF function might use the instantaneous overcurrent element in the relay to trip quickly if a fault current is detected after breaker closing. Challenges and considerations in implementing SOTF, several factors can affect the proper functioning of the SOTF feature in protective relays, setting coordination, miscoordination between SOTF and the regular distance protection zones can cause undesired tripping or delayed fault clearing. For instance, if the overcurrent threshold for SOTF is set too high, the relay might fail to detect lower magnitude faults e.g., high resistance faults. On the other hand, if the threshold is set too low, nuisance tripping could occur during normal load conditions or due to inrush current. Inrush current discrimination, when closing a breaker onto a healthy line, there may still be an initial surge of current due to transformer magneti magnetizing inrush or charging of long transmission lines. Advanced relays have built-in algorithms to distinguish between inrush currents which decay quickly and actual fault currents which persist. This ensures that the SOTF function does not misoperate during normal breaker operations. System voltage fluctuations. In some cases, voltage swings in the system might temporarily drop the line voltage before breaker closing. The SOTF function relies heavily on pre-closing voltage conditions to determine if a fault exists. If the system experiences voltage dips due to other factors, the relay may misinterpret this as a pre-existing fault condition. To counter this, voltage thresholds must be carefully tuned. Line charging and capacitance, long transmission lines can have significant capacitance, which can lead to charging currents when the line is energized. The relay must differentiate between these charging currents and fault currents. Modern IEDs, like the REL670, incorporate algorithms to factor in line capacitance and ensure proper operation of the SOTF function. Advanced features in the REL670 for SOTF protection, the REL670 Line Distance Protection IED incorporates several advanced features that enhance the SOTF functionality, multiple zones of protection, the REL670 can protect up to five or six zones of a transmission line. However, during an SOTF event, these zones are not necessarily involved in the initial fault detection. The SOTF bypasses these impedance zones to provide an immediate response. Fault location determination, after the fault is cleared, the relay can determine the fault location using impedance measurement. This allows system operators to pinpoint where the fault occurred, even after the SOTF function has tripped the breaker. Customizable logic, the relay allows for highly flexible logic customization. Depending on the system requirements, the user can fine-tune the conditions under which the SOTF function will activate, such as adding time delays, voltage supervision, and coordination with other relays or breaker operations. Typical applications of SOTF in power systems, transmission lines, SOTF is most commonly used in transmission lines where faults can be severe and cause significant damage. When breakers are manually or automatically closed after maintenance or fault clearance, the SOTF feature ensures that any residual or undetected fault is quickly isolated. Substations, in large substations with multiple transmission lines, SOTF ensures fast protection during breaker closing operations, preventing fault currents from flowing through critical equipment like transformers and buses. Distribution networks, although more common in high-voltage transmission systems, SOTF can also be used in distribution systems, 
especially where automatic rec losing schemes are in place. If a permanent fault exists, the SOTF feature prevents the system from rec losing onto the fault repeatedly. The switch on default SOTF function in the REL670 line distance protection relay is an essential mechanism for protecting power systems during breaker closing operations. It provides instantaneous detection and tripping when a breaker closes onto a faulted line, preventing prolonged fault currents that can damage equipment. Proper configuration of voltage and current thresholds, coordination with other protection schemes, and discrimination between fault and inrush conditions are critical for the reliable operation of SOTF. The REL670 relay's flexibility and advanced logic make it suitable for a wide range of power system applications, from transmission lines to substations.